Yo, what are you saying, you lot? So we're out here today at Ibisu Circuit Fan, but I'm not driving today, because today is Formula Drift Japan. They're holding it on Nishi course, so west course, but they've changed the layup a little bit. So they usually do Nishi long with inclips. Now they've changed it, so it's Nishi long with only outclips. You know what I'm saying? So it's interesting, they've made the course essentially wider, so it can be better for tandems and I guess more respectful for, for people to watch. Uh, we'll see how the drivers handled it. I watched qualifying yesterday uh, while I was at work. That's why I didn't film it. And um, quite a few drivers didn't do so well because it's a, you know, the whole layout's completely different. You've got to enter the track differently and stuff like that. But yeah, let's go ahead over to the um, spectator area and we'll go watch some of their practice runs before they start doing the battles. Top 32 and then top 16. <laughs> So we're making our way down to the pits now. Yeah, there they are. Dope. Let me go and say cool to everyone. Yeah, yeah. Sick. Let's take a quick look at Andy's machine, bro. Do a small little machine check. So this is Lexus RC with a 3.6 liter Tomei stroked 2JZ in it. It's crazy, bro. It's so mad. And I'm saying this is the other Kazama Auto Lexus RC and Kazama Auto Chaser and Kazama Auto Mark II and Kazama Auto Chaser Rev. As you can see, they like the uh, JZX chassis and engines here. I think this one still has the, um, the V8 in it, if I'm not mistaken. This is one that Ken Gushi was piloting today, but um, drive shaft broke. So yeah, this one here is banging. Love it. Let's take a look at the uh, JZX, because you know your boy loves a good JZX. Yeah, bro, it's this Chaser right here dope. It's got the uh, Pro Mode SS body kit, which I love. Mark II with a mad fuel system. This also has the Pro Mode SS kit, which I love. Of course they do, because they're Kazama kits. And the last chaser, with the full Pro Mode SS kit, including the rear bumper, and these two. That's got the stock one, and that's been cut. So yeah, and then another car which is covered. I don't know what that is. Yeah, let's look inside. It's nice, bro. It's a good thing. There's a TMR, the trail motor, Apex racing, the one that Daigo was, was with, and also Naoki, but Naoki doesn't do Formula Drift Japan. Yeah, he's the front of the chaser. He's banging, bro. It's good. I'm so happy to be here, you know. I'm so happy to be here with my little spots pass. It's sick. Yeah, here's the Mark II in front of it. Mad 2J. Crazy. See what I'm saying? That turbo's not even massive. Trust, dual coolers down there. I believe one will be power steering, one will be for oil. But yeah, another Chaser. See what I'm saying? I just love the look of the Mark II with this kit. It looks so banging. Chaser's obviously the sporty one, 
Mark Twilight, the stock standard one, but they just look sick with that kit. Because they're not supposed to be a drift car, but they are, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's banging. All right, just saw PV. Got my, uh, my spotter's pass. So I'm running up to the top now and uh, do some spotting for Andy and Nian. I'm just out here with JT. He running, we running, the battles are about to start. So gotta run up there and get there quick, bro. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I didn't record it because I was recording on a phone to send to Andy, but unfortunately Andy didn't make it through his top 32 battle because he got three wheels off. I mean, his chasing was sick. He was on his door. It's a good lead line. Just three wheels off the track means zero, incomplete run. Two wheels, I think, is the maximum you're allowed, but three means an incomplete run. So let's watch her. So our next hopes now are Nian. And if that doesn't work, because my babes is from New Zealand, I got to support Mad Mike, you know what I'm saying? Nian got his bye run, bruv. Masayama and the uh, GI Yaris couldn't fix it in time, so Nian's off the top 16, bruv. Hey! Now we're gonna stop for lunch, so time for us to go back down to the PV pits and hang out. I just realized, bruv, I haven't even shown you that the Kazama or a setup they got going on. Like, bruv, so they got, I'll show you right now in it, one sec, take a look. So, bang, one tire changer truck right there. Bang, one truck that's full of spare parts right there. The whole booth, which is real nice inside. This dense truck that's just full of tires, fam. Full of tires, bro. And they're supporting, so the car guy guys are like here as well, but they're supporting bear cars. Like I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Kazama Auto cars, fam. And look at the booth on the inside. I won't go inside, yeah, but like, I have been in there, but I'm not gonna go inside on camera. But yeah, fam, super, super nice. Thank you, bro. I'm saying it's banging. So they're doing the first couple battles now. I think Daigo just went. Gonna wait for our good boy Nian to go out. So out here in the spotters area with some popcorn from uh, Kazama-san. Some nice camera popcorn. Got my camera up. So I think the first battle is uh, Mad Mike fan. Get me, first battle was Mad Mike against Sunega, bro. Can you imagine? Two top dogs going against each other. So yeah, we'll see what I've won. So Mike threw some mad runs, but they were amazing to watch as a spectator, but judges weren't looking for that. So he didn't make it, but Sunega did. Crazy battles, bro. Crazy battles. There's some real good runs, fam. Mike was just, he threw it, bro. And he almost went off track, and then both times went off track, lead and chase, so it was crazy. But yeah, um, next up is Nian. So we're gonna see Nian. So Sunega, Sunega won that battle against Mike, and then we've got Nian coming up. All right, so unfortunately, Nian didn't win that battle. He did his best though, he had a real good chase. The only thing is on his chase run, he missed out zone one. He was facing the S15, and the S15 hit all the zones on his chase run and was closer to me and then me and was to him. First one of them things that all three judges were already favored by the S15, which makes sense. He had the better lead and chase.
But yeah, bruv, there you go. After that, Byron of Swinegas, he is the winner of Formula Drift Japan round two, Nishi Long out, as I like to call it. There's his car there. Yes, bruv. Yes, bruv. He did that in a misfiring 370Z. I swear, he got real good, good matchups today in terms of a lot of his opponents had to bow out because of car troubles. But yeah, fam, it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Funny enough, Sunego, who's part of Team Orange, I think he's drifting for a team Fukushima today, but he's part of Team Orange. He actually taught me how to drift way back in 2015 when I first had my 350 horsepower S14, bro. Crazy. Watching him win the thing is cool. But you know what I'm saying? It was good working today, doing a little, well, like, a little bit of working, filming for like Team PV. And Kazama was banging and gave me a little insight into Formula Drift Japan. It was cool and I enjoyed myself. It was really fun, you know what I'm saying? But everyone, thanks so much for watching. Hit a like button, subscribe, do the thing, and yo, you never know. A few years time, your boy might be out there himself doing the driving thing. Who knows, brother? It could be sick, you know what I'm saying? But thank you so much, and your boy will catch you next time. Cheese!